a lot of the times, like, like my mum does it as well. So she'll be like, um, you know, I'm praying. I feel like there's two. I'm not underestimating the power of prayer. Mm. Prayer is definitely powerful. That's mm-hmm. spiritual. Um, but I don't think prayer is enough. You know, I, I think to approach things with just, I'm praying. We'll just keep praying. Let's just keep praying. It's not enough. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I come from <laughs> yeah. a similar point of view. Yeah, I think I think we all do because um, like I I think the same, bro. I don't believe that praying is the answer to everything or the only answer. Yeah, I believe that certain things have to be put in place for that prayer to actually, yeah. you know, be fulfilled to its maximum potential. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I just think I just think <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri's thinking about this like wow, my mum's gonna flog me. Do you know what I think we're all when she hears this tonight? You said what? I think, about prayer? <laughs> I think we're all having flashbacks like yeah, at the same time. All the situations that I thought thought about where family members have been like, yeah, yeah, I'll pray for it, I'll pray for it, I'll pray for it. But I'm like, Listen, a lot yeah. of them prayers that you prayed for me, I put in work. I suffered, mm. man. Mm. Like I had to do a lot of work by myself to make sure that them prayers um could be manifested or whatever you want to call it because um oh I had a thought and it just slipped out my what, what's going it's on gonna man? Come to you. it's gonna um, come to you. But yeah I don't wait for things to come to me. I mm. chase it. Yeah. And that's it. Let me not even yeah. chase but I, yeah. I I do everything in my power to make sure that it comes to fruition. I have goals, things that I want to achieve. I'm not just gonna say oh, I want to achieve this, this is gonna happen. I'll write it down. I have a vision board at home. I write it down. I look at it. I tell myself I'm going to achieve this. Then I look at the little things that I can do to bring me closer towards those goals. I think that's the most, well, for me, that's the most practical way um, of uh, achieving what I want and mm. getting what I want in life. Um, another thing I do, I, I write the, some of these stuff in my wallet. So I've got that I, I'm going to earn a certain amount of money. Right. I've got that written up in my wallet. It's, it's, it's even, it's, it's tearing up, but I'm going to keep it there until <laughs> it happens. Mm. Um, and that aside, I make sure I work hard every day. Like mm. I know what I need to do or I have an idea of what I want to need to do. And I just put all my effort, all my time, all my, my, like, my, my brain power into it and just do the best job I can every single day. Yeah. And mm. it works. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not like blind, blind faith or blind gambling or whatever. It's mm. like, it's a formula to it. Yeah. But it is blind faith. It is blind faith in some ways because you're pursuing something you don't have and you're far from. But the difference is you've matched blind faith with work. And I I, I personally think that that's, that, that is at the heart of what um, God wants us to do as Christians. Like I think <clears throat> that from the point of view of someone that is a believer in God, I feel like, um, I feel like the most important things that we have is wisdom. Mm. And like God gave us that, like, you know, we don't have people in this world that are like scientists for the sake of it. Like science, science goes alongside God's mission and purpose. Mm. You get mm. it. God created the scientists. Mm. He gave them the brain to be able to create the medicines and, the, you know, whatever it is that we use to help ourselves. And so I don't think it has to be one or the other. I think it's like it's the both. But I understand what you're saying because I came from a household similar where... <clears throat> the emphasis was always spiritual. Mm. And sometimes we forgot that we're also humans as well. And so like, I'm going to bleed, I'm going to hurt, I'm going to be hungry. I can pray, but there's also bread in the fridge and I could go downstairs and I could get it. You get it? Like, you know, so there's a practical thing that you can always do. Yeah. But at the same time, that doesn't negate the power of prayer. And I can say like, I've seen when actually sometimes you sacrifice a lot of the things and you are still and prayer in itself is the one thing. But I think it's like, these are all things that you're supposed to do as one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I do think the church, that's why I asked the question, because I feel mm-hmm. like sometimes the church misses the real important human conversations around, mm-hmm. this is practically what we can do as a people, as an individual to help ourselves. Um, every day when you go to work, when you looking after your family, when you're trying to bring home an income, these are the things you can do mm-hmm. that are going to support your well-being but also take you to the next level spiritually. And I feel like the message is always one or the other, or sometimes you only get the spiritual message, but like that's why a lot of people are sitting in church and, and they do struggle with mental mm. health concerns, but don't know what to do with it because mm. their message has just been, you need to pray about it, mm. you know? Um, so that's not always that helpful.